hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our laravel 9 e-commerce series and now guys in this video we'll be seeing how to uh, manage the product quantity okay like when the quantity is greater than zero then we have to show in stock when it is not greater than zero it will show out of stock okay so guys now let's get started so guys let's move on this uh, product view page and let's go so we are on the product page guys as we are continuing from the previous video itself and now guys here is our in stock where you can see this output okay so let's remove this and now guys let's paste the in stock out stock after your colors so here you paste your in stock and out of stock control v so now guys let's check the product color is available or not if product color is available then you will be checking or counting the data so if it is greater than zero then you are going inside and checking for the product colors else let's end if and again add a else part so here in the else condition you are going to paste this label like in stock so now guys why are you pasting this in stock after in your else condition why because when a product doesn't have the color so at that time we want to show the default okay something like let me show you so here you see we don't have a products color right so we don't have any colors but in case of your shirt we have colors so at that time we want to show the in stock for this okay so now to check the in stock of normal you have to get back and you need to check your product of quantity okay so you need to check in a if condition at if and and if so you need to again add an else part over here let's copy and paste so here you add out of stock and this will be changed to danger perfect so this is for our normal without colors quantity okay so let us just check in our products table go to your products table and you will be finding a quantity column so here is our quantity column get back here refresh cool you are getting the in stock data so now guys uh, let us just design design it let me just remove this add a button small padding top and bottom one margin top and add text to white color and now get back refresh cool so it's looking better guys and now let me just check here let's make this quantity to zero so right now it was 10 i'll make it to zero and updated let's see out of stock perfect so you can see it's out of stock let me update it back like let me keep it nine now guys let's get back and now let's check in the products color quantity so once the product color comes this should not be visible okay so where is our so first up guys we will be changing the user interface for this okay so i'm going to comment this and just add a label here add a class color selection label save it and you just need to add some css so let me just show you the css file okay i have added this css guys now let's close get back and just add a style tag equal to where i want to show the background color hyphen color where your background color will be shown so let's copy from the above and paste here and the background color code 
let's change this to code okay and now guys um, let me bring this label tag down and just add a wire colon click equal to double quotes so color selected okay so color selected and here you give the color ID what you have passed in this value tag let's copy and paste here paste and now guys let's copy this color selected and create a function in your laravel view class okay so this is our view product view class of livewire and here I'm going to create one function so function name the function name is going to be color selected and what are the data you are getting you should get that so we are getting the color ID okay so you can just tell color item ID like its product color ID okay so you get that from that variable and let's DD the output so paste here and now guys let's get back refresh click on blue and perfect we have got the ID 5 let us see from the products table I mean products color table so here is our ID 5 and ID 6 so which belongs to product I mean product ID 5 this is our product ID 5 and from that it is primary ID 5 and the primary ID 6 cool so now guys we have got the ID and now let's filter the quantity and show the quantity stocks okay so let's comment this guys and now let me get this product variable first dollar this of your product and use the relationship of product colors so product colors function and use the where condition so you have the product color ID let's copy that and check the primary key ID inside this product color ID and get the first record FIRST first function done guys so let's create a variable called product color equal to and now from this you will get the quantity dollar product color of quantity and we need to store in one variable so let me explain you this what from where is this quantity coming so it's coming from your products colors table where I am storing this quantity column okay so this quantity details we are getting all set and we will store it in one variable called this of your product color selected quantity equal to okay let's copy this guys and just assign at top the public variable it's done so now guys here we'll write one condition like if dollar this of product color quantity selected is double equal to zero when it is zero you have to set this as the out of stock okay out of stock stock okay all set so now guys you will copy this variable and get back to your view blade I mean this live wire view blade and you move below to show the quantity it is in stock or out of stock okay so dollar this of your product color quantity selected is double equal to out of stock so first we will check that let's copy this and paste here out of stock and now guys again let's use and let's copy this and paste which is greater than zero which means quantity available okay it's 
in stock let's paste here let me copy out of stock and paste here perfect so now guys let's save and check the output so refresh let's click it's showing in stock let's click on purple out of stock okay so why it's showing out of stock let us see perfect we have quantity zero on this okay so it's showing correctly perfect so guys uh, let me just bring this in stock and out stock down let's just create one div tag open and close div Control x paste all done guys so let's refresh once and again let me check blue so in stock and purple it's out of stock so, so we have successfully seen that guys how to create this it is in stock or out of stock okay and let's continue next video guys about this quantity and add to cart when it is out of stock or in stock okay many things so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share